The movie starts in an old fire tower deep in the woods. You hear a bunch of young guys talking, and one of them takes a shiny necklace from the building. When they leave, a giant guy named Johnny comes up from the ground like something from a spooky story. Johnny starts wandering through the woods and finds a really old dead animal caught in a trap. Gross. He keeps walking and finds a shed that belongs to a guy named Chuck. Johnny goes inside and spots a necklace that he thinks is his. But oh no. Chuck fires his gun at Johnny. Johnny grabs Chuck and scares him out of the shed. Chuck's leg gets stuck in a trap outside and poor Chuck gets a terrible end. We don't see it, but it's hinted that Johnny did something really scary. Johnny goes back into the shed and discovers the necklace isn't his after all. But then, he sees a spooky vision of his dad in a mirror, telling him the necklace is super important for his family. Yikes. Talk about a creepy family heirloom. As night falls, Johnny keeps wandering through the dark woods, his footsteps crunching on fallen leaves. He spots the group of young people from earlier. Now they have their girlfriends with them. Johnny sneaks up behind them as they head to a cozy cabin. There are seven of them. Chris, her boyfriend Colt, who's not very nice, and their friends Brody, Aurora, Troy, Aaron, and Evan. It looks like there's some drama in the group because not everyone likes Colt. He's been a real troublemaker, and the others don't appreciate it. The tension between them makes the scene even creepier. You can almost feel that something bad is about to happen. As the friends gather around the campfire, Johnny hides in the trees, watching them with a creepy, hidden gaze. Aaron starts telling a spooky story about Johnny. It turns out that the spot where they're camping used to be a campsite where Johnny, when he was a little kid, played with toys and was bullied by the lumberjacks who worked nearby. One day, one of the men slipped on Johnny's toy car and got mad. The lumberjacks decided to play a mean trick on Johnny, telling him there were more toys at the top of the fire tower, but they just wanted to scare him. Johnny got so frightened that he fell off the tower and died. The men put a firefighter mask on him to make it look like he had an accident while playing. Johnny's dad figured out what really happened and went to confront the men. Things got really ugly, and Johnny's dad was killed too. The men said it was in self-defense, but not long after the men were found brutally murdered and chopped up. Many people think it was Johnny's ghost coming back to get revenge. So as the friends sit by the fire, they have no idea they might be next on Johnny's list. Eek. Before everyone heads back inside the cabin, Aaron grumbles to Chris about how bringing Colt was a bad idea. The others start teasing him, joking that he's not really going for a smoke but to flirt with some girls at the gas station they stopped at. But Aaron's night takes a super creepy turn. Johnny, still lurking in the shadows, catches Aaron and does something absolutely terrifying. He uses a saw to cut off the top half of Aaron's head from his body. Yikes. Johnny takes both parts and uses them to break into the ranger station. There, he leaves Aaron's remains in a really creepy display. As if that wasn't enough, Johnny grabs a firefighter mask, an axe, and a hook attached to a chain. Looks like he's gearing up for something really, really scary. The campfire fun is about to turn into a nightmare. The next morning, Johnny spots Brody and Aurora by the lake. Brody is teasing Aurora about joining her in the water, but Aurora decides to do yoga instead. Little do they know, Johnny is lurking underwater, waiting to make a splash in the worst way. Johnny grabs Brody and pulls her underwater until she drowns. Scary, right? But he's not done yet. He heads over to find Aurora, who's by the cliffside. When Aurora sees Johnny, she tries to run, but the edge of the cliff leaves her nowhere to go. Johnny then uses a hook in a truly horrifying way. He first stabs Aurora through her stomach and then pushes the hook into her head. But that's not all. He pulls the hook through her body so she ends up twisted into a human pretzel. With her body all tangled up, Johnny rolls her down the cliff. Talk about a terrible way to start the day. The peaceful lake and yoga are now replaced by a nightmare of Johnny's making. Johnny takes a creepy pause and pulls off his mask, revealing his face is all scary and rotting. It's like a nightmare come to life. As he plays with one of his old toy cars, he hears the other teens talking. They're worried because they haven't seen Aaron, Brody, and Aurora for a while. Colt and Chris decide to check out the ranger station, while Troy and Evan stay behind. Johnny, who remembers Troy taking the necklace, sneaks up on him. He jams his axe into Troy's leg. Ouch! Evan tries to help by shooting at Johnny with a rifle, but Johnny's too quick. He hurls the axe right into Evan's head. Yikes! Then, Johnny grabs a huge rock and smashes Troy's head with it. That's some serious horror movie stuff. Johnny searches Troy's body but doesn't find the necklace. Looks like the hunt for the necklace isn't over yet, and things are getting scarier by the minute. Chris and Colt come back, looking horrified after discovering Aaron's body at the station. Johnny spots Chris wearing the necklace he's been hunting for. 
he gets super mad and hurls his axe at her. But Chris is quick and dodges the deadly weapon. Chris and Colt make a run for it, racing away from Johnny and trying to escape. The tension is sky high. Will they make it out? Or will Johnny catch them? The chase is on, and things are about to get even more intense. As night falls again, Johnny tracks down Colt and Chris, who are now meeting with the local ranger. The ranger knows the necklace is super important. It used to belong to Johnny's mom, and keeps Johnny's ghostly anger at bay. Last time Johnny went on a rampage, the ranger's dad was the only one who survived. When they spot Johnny, the ranger tries to shoot him, but everyone knows that won't keep Johnny down for long. He tells Chris and Colt to grab chains to hold Johnny down, but things go south fast. As the ranger passes the rifle to Colt, Johnny grabs it and forces Chris and Colt to run for their lives. The ranger tries to fight back, but gets a horrific end. Johnny smashes his spine and then drags him inside. There, Johnny uses a scary machine meant for chopping wood to dismember and decapitate the ranger. The whole scene is like something out of a nightmare. Talk about a gruesome way to go. Chris and Colt come up with a plan to stop Johnny. They need to return the necklace to the fire tower. So they lure Johnny there and set up a trap. Colt tries to distract Johnny while Chris gets ready with a bear trap and a canister of gas. Colt pops out from behind Johnny trying to tease him, but Johnny isn't in the mood for games. He swings his axe at Colt's face and keeps hitting him again and again. It's really, really scary. As Johnny attacks Colt, Chris places the necklace on the canister and starts to run. The tension is sky high. Will Chris's plan work or will Johnny catch her before she can escape? The night is about to get even more intense. Chris keeps running, but her leg gets hurt, and she finally makes it to the road. She waves down a passing car, and the driver, a woman, helps her out. As they drive toward town, the woman asks Chris questions to make sure she's okay. Chris only says she was attacked by an animal, but the woman starts talking about her brother, who had a run-in with a bear in the woods. The woman says her brother survived, even though the bear disappeared. It's a bit spooky, because it's not clear if she's really talking about a bear, or if she means Johnny. The woman tries to reassure Chris that she'll be okay, just like her brother was. But as Chris starts to drift in and out of consciousness, the woman pulls over to check on her leg. Chris gets really scared, thinking Johnny might find them. She looks nervously into the dark woods, waiting for him to appear. It's like the forest is holding its breath, and the fear is almost as thick as the darkness. The movie ends with a chilling final shot. We see the bear trap and the canister where Chris left them, but something's missing. Johnny's necklace is gone. It's like the necklace vanished into thin air. The creepy feeling lingers, making you wonder if Johnny is still out there, lurking and ready for more scares. The ending leaves you with a spine-tingling shiver, as if the nightmare might not be over just yet. Which movie should we recap next? Drop your suggestions in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more movie recaps. Thanks for watching.